Hello, sixth graders, and uh, welcome to our online PE class. Uh, I know uh, today is Monday, if you're watching this on the first day it's posted, um, then uh, you've probably already watched a few other ones for your classroom. You're probably already getting a little used to what's going on with this and how we're doing this online learning. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is uh, just kind of how PE would work and kind of set up what's going on. Um, so, um, on Mondays, uh, you, because PE is an elective, you're only getting one video and kind of one assignment, one uh, Zoom time a week on this. However, we wanted to go ahead and send you the videos on Mondays so that you can be doing these activities because we feel like uh, being physically active is so important right now and being able to do some stuff. And hopefully you've done stuff on your own. You have your own activities maybe that you can do. But uh, we want, if you don't, and just to give you some extra ideas that we wanted to make sure that we had this time uh available to you on monday so you could see this and kind of know our expectations and kind of know some of the ideas of some of the things we can do uh, i'm doing this outside you can hear my neighbor's dog out there uh, but we are um i'm videoing this outside so you can see you can go outside in your backyard you can do these activities uh you can be inside it's beautiful out right now we want you to uh, just be able to enjoy uh, the, the nature around you as uh, when you have the opportunity to do that and, and get out and do that. So here's how it's going to work for us. Um, you will receive this video every Monday that we are in online education. Um, uh, Coach Tyson or I1 will post a video for you guys to look at to kind of give you the expectations for the week and remind you of that. Okay. Um, all of the detailed information I'm going to give you will also be available in a document on the homework section. Uh, and so you can use that to look at as well. And basically, uh, we're just giving you activities that you can do two to three different days this week, um, over the week on your own, okay? Because obviously during this short little time right now, it's not the best time to do workouts and you guys have more time, more space on your own to do those, okay? Uh, we will have a teacher talk, talk time. Uh, for all middle school PE, that'll be 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, boys and girls, on Friday at 2.30. And uh, that will be, um, we'll have questions, uh, and uh, you can ask questions about things, you can ask for ideas, and we'll kind of discuss how it went that week, and you can kind of let us know uh, how you did if you were able to get your workouts in and things like that. Like I said before, it's so important to be physically fit. It's so important to stay active and, and get out and do it more than just one day a week, and and more than just five minutes, but as much as you can get outside uh, or even inside uh, doing a, a video or exercises in your house if you have equipment, um, just be active as much as you can because uh, we're gonna be sitting a lot and it's gonna be different. And so we just encourage you to just be active during this time. It's good for your body and your mind as well as you, as you start this online school. Um, so our expectations are that you work out two to three times a week with these activities that we're giving you. Uh, this week, we're just going to focus on preparing for the Bear Fitness Challenge, and we may add some more stuff as the weeks go on. But um, our goal uh, for this week is for two to three times this week for you to do uh, the first three activities of the Bear Fitness, which you can do two to three times this week, are push-ups, sit-ups, and broad jump. And I'm gonna give you kind of the standards right now, but I'll also put these on uh, the homework section that you can go back and look at, okay? Uh, we want you to prepare for the Bear Fitness Challenge. Uh, girls, uh, you need to do anywhere from 10 to 22 push-ups. 10 is black bear, 22 is grizzly bear, okay? Uh, boys would be 12 to 27 push-ups. Uh, Sit-ups, you know you have one minute to do this. You can get a brother or sister to hold your feet or you can just practice on your own. Uh, for grit for girls, it's 22 for black, 32 for brown, and 42 for grizzly bear in a minute. And for boys, it's 27, 37, and 47 in one minute. And then broad jump is another one that you should be able to do two to three times a week practice. Uh, you may not be able to measure, but you can practice jumping, you know, back and forth in a spot. But if you have a way to measure it, um, the girls uh, go anywhere from black bear is 54 inches to 70 inches is grizzly bear and boys uh, 60 inches, which is five feet is black bear and 74 inches is a uh, grizzly bear. And in between is the brown bear. And we're, we're just, just trying to give you a range. Right now we're not testing, we're just practicing for it. Okay, one time a week, I would like you to do something that practices your agility for the shuttle run. Okay, this could be an aerobic video that you have online. Um, my boys and I have been doing uh, Les Mills uh, body combat, punching and kicking, and they love it. And uh, we got a free trial on that. Uh, there's just a lot of things out there that have, uh, have uh, videos available. Uh, maybe you have a workout at home. Maybe you have a treadmill that you can do some stuff on. I don't know. 
but uh, if not, just uh, set up two cones and just do some agility run or do like we do the, the football shuttle agility where you go side to side or front to back, okay? Uh, but just practice agility uh, for about 20 minutes uh, one day this next week. And then we'll have one time of a distance run, okay? Uh, and to prepare for the distance run, you just have to jog, you have to run, right? That's really the only way. Again, if you have a treadmill, that's great. If not, uh, around your block, around your neighborhood, in front of your house, whatever you're allowed to do. Uh, maybe have a parent walk with you and run. I, I kind of do that with my son. We go around the block um, and he runs and I walk or ride my bike and, and so we're able to do that. But the, the standards for the distance run, just so you know, are um, anywhere from uh, 12 minutes to 9, 10 for the girls. 9, 10 is the grizzly bear, 12 minutes is black bear. And then for boys, black bear is 10, 30 and uh, grizzly bear is 7, 40. So that just gives you an idea. Again, we're not trying to test it. We're just trying to practice for it. And that gives you uh, different activities that you can do. So again, two to three times a week, that um, should do the push-up, sit up, some uh, broad jump, uh, one time of agility and one time of distance run. I'm also gonna include on the um, uh, homework section an activity log where you can log what you do. Um, uh, you have a space to put kind of uh, these things that you do and make sure that you do it. And then there's also other areas you can log um, if you are not able to do all these, you can substitute maybe for a bike ride or uh, something else that an aerobic video or something like that that you do that is actual fitness activity, you know, a long walk. If you can't do anything else, but just go on a long walk with your parents, uh, that, that, that'll work. But I just want you to log your activity. And so then we make sure that we get uh, at the minimum these things two to three times a week. Ideally, you know, you wanna have like five items on that list would be, would be a great thing. Again, this week we're just, uh, getting used to it. We're just going to talk about it on Friday, uh, but we, we really want you guys to stay active and, and be ready to go because when we do come back, uh, if you're able to get back into sports or uh, other activities, whenever they do happen, um, you're going to want to be uh, be ready. You're not going to want to have taken off a week or two weeks or however many weeks you want to be ready to go. So um, again, I hope your first day is going well and you're figuring all this stuff out and um, I look forward to chatting with you guys on Friday. Uh, take care and stay active.